guys, Sean C. Phillips here with our brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Taking a go out today, see things came out, see things are on sale today. Now today, new release wise, I know there's not a whole lot of new things that will be available in stores. Uh, one of the main new things that comes out today is the uh, Kevin Bacon, Amanda Seyfried film, uh, you know, You Should Have Left. Now with that one though, that's only going to be available on DVD. And what's funny is, I think it was already available uh, to, you know, to get on Amazon for like the last week or two, or maybe even two weeks, because I ended up ordering a copy copy of it and I got it like you know like four or five days ago or something like that so I think they were shipping them out earlier with that one but I think the day it actually officially hits stores I believe will be today because I hadn't seen it in any other stores last week or the week before though but other than that though I believe one of the other things that comes that comes out today is the TV series The Outsider and that one comes to uh, you know DVD and Blu-ray other than that though I don't think there's too much else that will be in stores we will see though uh, the other thing too I wanted to make sure to mention as well is some really cool news I just got cast in the upcoming horror film Axe to Grind 2 which is the sequel to the film Axe 2 Grind, you know, um, and this is, you know, the sequel to that one. Like I said, this is called Axe to Grind 2. And the uh, movie stars uh, Debbie Roshan, you know, Scream Queen Debbie Roshan, as well as uh, Stormy Daniels. And I have a link below you guys can go to check out uh, to the movie's uh, Indiegogo uh, campaign. And they have a bunch of really, really cool uh, perks on there that relate to the film. Like you can pre-order the film, uh, you know, a signed copy on DVD, as well as you can also pre-order the film on uh, Blu-ray. They also have a perk on there, a special thanks perk, a perk for a um, you know a digital uh, download copy of the film. But what's really cool though is they added an exclusive perk, you know, which relates to me, which is the Cool Dude perk. And with that one, you get a signed uh, poster, a, a poster uh, you know with me on the cover for you know that says Axe to Grind, and it's going to be a signed poster. You also will get a, a special thanks credit at the end of the film, as well as a special thanks credit on IMDb. And also, you'll get a digital download of the film as well. So like I said, I'll have a, a link for this uh, below. So go to the link below and you guys can find out all about the movie and all that kind of stuff as well. There's also a perk as well to act in the film. So that's one of the other perks on the film. But like I said, this one, you know, with this link below, you guys will be able to check out the exclusive link for the uh, Cool Duder perk that relates to the film. But also though, at the end of this video, is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. Some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those as well at the end of this video. And as always too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed. You know, uh, you know what you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Walmart we go. Now this is the one Walmart though that locks up the um, movies and stuff like that. They don't usually block up the, like the the ones in the very front though. They haven't done those ones yet, but they only they do the, the ones in the actual section. But last um, you know uh, you know Tuesday when I was in here, they had like every, like I said everything's locked up, but they had everything out. Like even some of the stuff that they sometimes wouldn't. So this one usually does a better job having out the movies. Uh, so we'll see though. We'll see if they have that. Like especially the Kevin Bacon, Amanda Seyfried one, if they have that one in here or not. But we'll see though now in here though in the actual section there's one thing I'm really surprised to see in here because I, I didn't know it was actually coming out yet I guess it must be like a um, Walmart exclusive now because like when you look on like um, for like Best Buy and stuff it says it releases August 25th at the end of August it comes out what they have down here and I had no idea that it would have been in here today was a uh, deep blue sea three the third film in the deep blue sea series and i saw the trailer for this one and this one actually looks like really actually pretty cool like i, I thought the second one was all right i, I really always loved the first movie though but the, this one though looks actually really pretty good uh this one is a uh, 1996 for the uh, blu-ray of that one and then uh 1496 for the dvd like i was saying i guess this maybe is like exclusively released to walmart earlier or something like that because like i said um you know, I will definitely be, uh, you know, reviewing this one down the line. I should get a copy to review uh, down the line for this one. But, you know, closer to the main release, like I said, maybe this is an exclusive to Walmart. I may be looking at another Walmart, uh, and I'll see if they had it out there as well. But really interesting, though, that, it's, that it seems as if it's out, you know, must be like an exclusive or an earlier release in Walmarts. Other than that, though, here, uh, this one, Gondola, Rise of a Hero, uh, this one released today, and that one is uh, $14.96 for the Blu-ray, and then it's uh, $12.96 for the uh, DVD of that one. But other than that, though, here in the front, I don't see anything else new here. And I looked over here on the side, and I didn't see that um, You Should Have Left one. I didn't see that over here. Or look, though, over here in the um, 
section, you know, where they lock the stuff up. This is all the locked up cases and everything. But, you know, they sometimes put things in here. And then they also sometimes put things over in the, in the side when they like kind of like, I realize when they don't know where to put it, they've kind of put it over there. But let's see if it's mixed in here anywhere. Because I also don't see that outsider one either, the, um, which released today as well. No, I do see it. Here is an uh, outsider up here. So that one on Blu-ray, let's see if you can see it. It's a little shadowy. If I hold it like this, you can see it better. Uh, it's $24.96 for the Blu-ray and then $19.96 for the DVD. And this is one of the other ones that I believe was today. Uh, this one, um, Legacy of Lies. And that one was um, $14.96 for the DVD as well as... Oh, no, so they do have the Should Have Left. It's over here, so we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, they also, Orange is the New Black, the final season. Uh, that one is uh, $19.96, and I believe that was today. And these two I'm going to be talking about at the end of this video. Uh, NCIS Season 17, and then uh, the, the complete final season of Hawaii Five-0. And both those ones are $32.96. And then the um, You Should Have Left, though, that one is uh, $14.96 for that one. And I did get a chance to watch that one. I thought that it was okay. Like, it kind of had, like, a strangeness, like, what was happening. Like, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, like, I did like it. it. It did have some memorable things to it. But, like, it wasn't perfect, though. But if you guys watched, though, You Should Have Left, let me know what you guys thought of that one. But other than that, though, here, it doesn't look like there's anything different between besides these ones up here. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this one. I think this one was today as well. This um, Ron with the Hunted, this Ron Perlman one. And that one is uh, $12.96 um, as well. But other than that, let's check over here, too. Because sometimes they put, like, things randomly in this spot, I've noticed. But it doesn't look like it. doesn't look like there's anything randomly mixed in here or anything like that but like i said we will check another walmart as well though and just see too if they had the um deep blue sea i'm sure they will though like i said i'm pretty sure it must be an exclusive release to walmart's for today into the dollar tree we go and i haven't been to this one when i went um you know like i think a week and a half ago two weeks ago or so to the last dollar tree um, you know, I went to a couple other ones and they didn't really have much, but this is one of the ones that I haven't been to in you know, quite a while. So we'll see though if this one has anything different. Well, over here though, it does have a couple ones, but it seems to be like a lot of the same one. Uh, Christmas Canon. I uh, know Christmas in Can or Can Christmas in Canon. There seems to be a whole lot of copies of that one. Other than that though. It doesn't look like this other Christmas one, like the Wiggles Christmas. Looks like nothing. This, um, I don't think I've seen this Wild Fights one before. Let's see, is there anything under here? No, it doesn't seem like they've got any of the newer horror ones or any of the ones that I saw in the last video. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything new at all. Just a whole lot of these Christmas ones. A lot of, see, he's even more of these, uh, Christmas and Canon ones. Yes. But other than that, though, that seems to be all in here, but... I'm glad anyway because when I looked that there's not much, they had like a huge line. So I'm glad there wasn't a whole bunch of like amazing things or anything like that anyway though. But yeah, didn't look like it wasn't much in here though. But now though, we'll head uh, back to a um, another Walmart now. Like I said, I'm really interested in seeing though if um, the other one has out the Deep Blue Sea because when I was looking online too, I did, I did more looking and stuff like that and I didn't see anything that said about like Walmart exclusive or something. So maybe they put the stuff out by mistake. You know what I mean? Maybe they were put out like, you know, like, a, like a month earlier. I've never really seen that happen like that early, but we'll see. I'm really interested in seeing though if the other one has that one out yet though. Into the second Walmart we go. But over here though in the actual section though, they do have out the uh, Deep Blue Sea here as well. It's Deep Blue C3 as well for a uh, 1996 for the Blu-ray and 1496 for the DVD. So yeah, it seems like uh, from what I can tell that Walmarts have it out early. So I guess it must be exclusive to Walmarts early. So that's really cool. So if you guys are interested in seeing this one, you guys can see this one already in uh, Walmarts. Let me know if your stores though had them out, but it seems like since I went to two ones, they all should have them. Other than that though, over here in the section though I don't see anything else uh, different here nothing else different mixed in here in the actual section here from at least as far as I can tell but over here though on the corner I did see some of the other stuff that's like newer things like this one clear shot I don't know when for sure this one released and then they have like a magic school bus rides again I guess it's like a new uh, magic school bus I think this was like the Netflix series of that one I think this might have been out like a little while ago like a week or two back 
But over here though on the side though, uh, they had a couple other things like they had this one I showed in the other store. Uh, one, you know, run with the hunted here and that one is a $12.99. That was a Ron Perman one. But the other ones I showed though in the other store though. But in here though, I did find one really interesting thing that my, me and my brother saw a video of people trying last night and he was like, oh yeah, we gotta try and find those. And there are these uh, Lay's chips and they always have these ones and they change them out throughout the years. Like usually like once or twice a year they have interesting flavors and now they have a whole bunch of these new interesting ones that are all like restaurant themed. And like, I, it's so crazy, I saw the video yesterday and thought, oh, it's gonna take forever to find these. And I found every single one of them in here. See these ones here, these are like flavor icons. And they're all like different ones, like um, they're all different restaurants, like Grima Deli's or something. Um, this one's like a New York style pizza. This one is like um, Chili Riano flavor, a Nashville hot chicken. They're all, like I said, all different restaurants. This one's like El Torito, a Carnitas, a street taco, and then Gino's. You know, there was always that big war between, I think Gino's was right next door to another cheesesteak place. And I guess Gino's is the one that won for getting on the chip bag, but Gino's chip Philly cheesecake flavored uh, one. So these are really interesting to find in here. Like I said, uh, I just saw a video last night with my brother of these people trying these ones. And he was like, oh, if you can try and find these. And I didn't think I would, but luckily enough, they had all of them in here though. Yeah, today though, like the horn, the car alarm's going off. But today though, I really am like my nickname is Mr. Chips or Mr. Chippies. It's like all these bags of chippies. Oh, I can't believe, like I said, that I found these ones all in there because normally I try and find all these flavors and I have to order certain ones off of like online. It's like impossible. So it's the first time I've literally ever gone into a store and found all of them at the same time. But now we're gonna head into Best Buy and see in this location, Best Buy's right here. I don't like this one as much, but it is an okay one. But we'll see though, if maybe this one's a little bit more stocked up than the one that I normally go to, because that one has really been understocked and like, it's a little bit better last week, but we'll see if this one is the same kind of situation of just being super, super like understocked. Because I've seen videos online of people showing their stores and they have much more things out. So we'll see though. So fingers crossed, hopefully they've got some stuff out in there. But into Best Buy we go. Yeah, so we'll see how though this one looks and this is a newer one I haven't seen this one out in person this Wonder Woman uh, 4k Ultra HD steelbook here So this one is a Best Buy exclusive of that one. So that's really cool. So this one is a uh, 29 99 I've definitely uh, never seen that one here in person, but let's see though How it looks on this side. Let's see. This is another one of the newer steelbooks I haven't seen in person. I think this has been out like a week or two this um, bloodshot one uh, for Vin Diesel's, you know, movie Bloodshot. That one's $34.99. That's a 4K edition of that one. And let's see anything else over here interesting. So let's see, though, where they put the new stuff. Usually they should have, there should be some, some of the new things in here. Like I said, there wasn't a whole lot today, but they might have the Amanda Seyfried one over here. Yeah, here's, so here's some of the newer things. So they have NCIS uh, Season 17, and that one is a $39.99 for that one. Uh, let's see uh, the outsider here. That one is a $22.99 for the uh, the blu-ray of that and Hawaii 5 is $39.99 But they definitely do have this section though a lot more, you know more in it than uh, the other ones The other one I normally go to and these ones. I don't remember seeing these. I don't know if these are re-releases or Or not, but I sometimes I totally don't remember these steelbooks these uh, Transformers ones for $7.99 each this one is um, they don't they seem to be sold out of the first movie this is all the different Transformers ones. So these ones are pretty cool. And this one has a thing. This I think I remember seeing, I, I believe so, but I don't, don't remember these ones. Like I said, these must have been, did they say in the back when they're from? I don't know. Like I totally don't remember seeing those ones. Other than that over here, I don't see the Amanda Seyfried movie. Uh, they, they do have also the Airplane Steelbook. This one was out last week. Was this, no, is this this week, I think, or last week? I can't remember for sure. This was last week or this week, but that one is $14.99 for that one. Other than that, though, over here, I can't believe, too, this location doesn't have music on. This one usually would be the one that would be, like, blasting music, so I would never really be able to show stuff too well in this particular one. That's kind of why I never really would come to this one. 
Also, though, which is really cool, and I'm sure you guys have all heard, they just announced uh, yesterday that they're going to be releasing all the Back to the Future movies on 4K, and there's a whole bunch of really interesting exclusives of that one. There's like, I think Target has one that comes with like a miniature hoverboard, and then, um, or that might be the one with Amazon, but there's a whole bunch of different ones. They're releasing it again on Blu-ray, but on 4K with, this, you know, for the first time in 4K, all the movies. And it has all the features brought back, and then a whole bunch of brand new ones for the first film. So it's definitely a really cool release. That's one I definitely cannot wait for. So that's one I'm definitely going to be getting uh, for sure. And that comes out, I think it was October, I believe, is when that was releasing. But yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure to talk about that. But other than that, though, don't see anything else uh, different here today, though. So anyway though guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, leave me comments below though, letting me know, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, if you guys picked up anything today. And also let me know too, uh, if you did watch, uh, you know, uh, Deep Blue C3, what you guys thought of that one, because I know it's also available on digital. That's what I thought it was releasing only on digital today. I know I'm talking a lot about that, but for some reason I was convinced that was only digital today. But for, as far as I can tell though, it seems like it must be exclusive exclusive, you know, to, um, to Walmart. That's the only thing I can tell since it was at two locations. And also, too, let me know in the comments below anything new that you guys have watched lately. If you guys watch any new movies, sorry if it's like windy, if you guys have watched any new movies on streaming, or if you guys have watched, you know, anything new you've watched on streaming, or any new shows you guys have been watching lately, or anything like that, definitely let me know uh, in the comments below. And also, too, make sure to check out the link below for the upcoming horror film that I'm going to be acting in, the Axe to Grind 2 one. And they, like I said, they have on there, uh, you know, pre-orders so you guys can pre order a DVD copy of that one, a Blu-ray copy, a digital download, or the exclusive Cool Duder Perk one, which comes with a poster, as well as a digital download, as well as a special thanks credit, you know, at the end of the film, as well as a special thanks credit on IMDb. So definitely check out that one below. But now, though, we're going to head to the uh, drive throughs I'm not sure how many I'll be going to today, but now roll the, uh, the drive through footage. Hi. What name can I get for the order? It's um, Sean. What can I do today, Sean? So I just need an order of uh, the 12 count nuggets, please. You got it. And then a um, large fries. Okay. And then two Polynesian sauces and two um, honey mustard sauces, please. You got it. So a 12 count nugget, large fry, two Polynesian, two honey mustard. That's right. It's going to be nine fifty-seven. And is that cash? Uh, cash. Awesome. So keep on moving forward and then I'll take that payment, please. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Have a good one. Welcome to Kevin. Can I help you? Hi, so I need to get a uh, double order of the string bean chicken breast with fried rice, please. Fried rice, double string bean chicken. That's right. And then a uh, medium side order of fried rice. A medium fried rice? And then a medium um, chow mein. Medium fried rice, medium chow mein. And then uh, two, uh, two orders of the veggie spring rolls. Total four pieces? Yes, yeah, so a total of four pieces. And then just four sides of sweet and sour sauce and some soy sauce, please. Soy sauce, sweet and sour. And yeah, and four sweet and sours. Anything else? And that was everything. Do you like the Johnny Tire Ready Chill and Pop Little Program? Um, you could round up whatever the total is. Thank you so much. I'll see you Thank you. Okay, thank you. And the first ones here are all from Arrow Video. Some really cool new releases here to let you guys know are available. This is a movie here called uh, Bloodstone. And this is one I had heard about and never seen before. And it kind of has a vibe a little bit to like Romance in the Stone, uh, Indiana Jones-esque, like that kind of like an adventure film kind of feel. And it's basically though all dealing with this um, this stone jewel that like in the beginning of the movie you see like this, like it was like someone that had died and they said that they, their soul was kind of transferred into the stone and basically, though, something has happened to this stone, and it's about a group of people who are all kind of uh, trying to get this stone. Like, it's like a couple who are on their vacation. Uh, they're trying to get it, this other guy, and then, like, they try and work together with this, like, the cab driver and all this kind of stuff. And, like I said, it has, like, an adventure kind of, like, you know, uh, vibe of trying to get this stone, and then the people who are trying to come after it, and all sorts of, like, problems. A very, very fun movie here. On here, though, uh, feature-wise, this has... 
um, a brand new commentary track on here with, with the director, Dwight Little, on this one. It has a brand new audio commentary with Brian uh, Reisman, as was a brand new interview on here with the producer and co-writer, uh, Nico Mastrokas, as was a brand new audio interview with Bloodstone Star on this one. Um, you know, as well as leading leading um, Indian uh, you know cinema expert uh, Joss Herdarbo, uh, as well as trailers, image gallery, and original uh, screenplay on the blue uh, you know Blu-ray ROM uh, on here as well. If you put it into a computer. And in here, too, it also has a booklet, which has some stills from the movie, some stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff as well. But like I said, if you, are, if you guys are a fan of, you know, like, um, stuff like Romance in the Stone and, of course, like Indiana Jones and adventure movies, uh, definitely this one is worth checking out. Uh, the other one here is from Arrow Video, and this is one I had never seen before. I did remember, though, the reversible artwork. I do remember this image, though, for the reversible artwork. I think I remember seeing, like, uh, years back, like, the poster somewhere or something like that, but I had never seen this one before and it's called uh, Black Rainbow and this is basically though you know this stars Rosanna Ar Arquette and it's basically though her and her father go around and they go in like um, Rosanna Arquette's character has like the ability to kind of talk to people that have died so she goes and like kind of travels around with her father and um, goes to like churches and like talks to people and they say Oh, you know, do you, I know somebody, um, does anyone in here know someone named Tom? Oh, Tom, Tom's talking to me right now. And did Tom, was Tom this and did Tom die in this type of way and all that, that kind of stuff. Basically, you can talk to, you know, uh, relatives that have passed away. And when she's talking to someone, though, uh, you kind of think at first, is she kind of making this up because she's making these mistakes? And then she's like, uh, you should go, no, no, this was this. And then, and, but basically, then all of a sudden, she uh, starts to kind of talking to this one woman who comes up and saying all this stuff and saying, oh, this person died and it was horrible. And, and basically she's like, uh, the woman that she's talking to was like, what are you talking about? You're, you're talking about my husband and I just left my house and my husband was perfectly fine. He's alive and well. And then it's, you know, the very next day though, the woman's talking to her husband going, I can't believe what they were saying and all this. And then the husband, you know, gets killed. And it's basically though, the people that have come to kill the husband, you know, have heard about, you know, Rosanna Arquette's character, you know, having this ability and saying and like pre-seeing what was going to happen, which is not normally what she'd get, you know, happens to her. She normally would just talk to people who have passed away, but not people you know that are kind of pass away in the, you know in a day or so but basically though they're kind of coming after her and it becomes this whole big thing but it's a really interesting movie here on here though this has a brand new restoration for the original uh negative for this one you know approved by writer and director mike hodge hodges on this one it also has a new commentary track on here with film historians kat ellinger and sam demon De De Dehan, as was an archival commentary on here with the director it has an um, archival making of documentary archival interviews on here with the cast and crew archival featurette eight uh, featurettes on the movie as was well a trailer for this one for the film and also in here is a booklet which has some you know pictures from the film and stuff about the production all that kind of stuff as well here and the other ones here are from arrow video as well and these are ones i just want to let you guys know were available this is a movie here called uh, zombie for sale and this one here uh feature wise this has newly translated english subtitles a uh, brand new audio commentary with the filmmakers and critics sam um Ashhart and Dan Martin, a Q&A with the director from the uh, 2019 screening at the Asian Pop-Up Cinema in Chicago, as well as uh, Eat Together, Die Together, a brand new video essay by critic and producer uh, Pierce Corman, a Koran, Koran, as well as a behind-the-scenes footage on here, making a featurette, theatrical trailer. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here as well it has a booklet with some you know stuff about the production and the cast and all that kind of stuff as well like i said though just want you guys know that this one uh was available and the other two ones here from arrow video uh these ones are both from the arrow, arrow academy line and this one here is a movie called um uh life is a long quiet river and this one has on here though a newly uh, translated english subtitles uh archival interview with the director as well as the um the co-writer and one of the actors in the film and so as a producer and I'll show you guys though a look inside at this one this one has a um, you know a booklet as well in here with some stuff about the film and everything like I said just want you guys know that this one was available from Arrow Video from their uh, Arrow Academy line and the last one from um, Arrow Video which is from the Arrow Academy line as well it's a movie here called uh, Hiroshima and now this one has on here though an archival interview uh, with one of the actresses in the film it has a um, 
a 73-minute documentary featuring interviews with the survivors of Hiroshima and the um, the, the uh, Naga Akasha Kashki uh, atomic bombings now residing in the U.S. with introduction with the director on this one. Also has on here though a video essay by Jasper Sharp on this one as well. And here's a look though uh, inside at this one. Like I said though, just want to let you guys know that these ones were all um, you know available from the um, you know the from Arrow Video and the and the last two ones here were from the uh, Arrow Academy line. So some really cool new releases here. The next one here is from uh, Shout Factory. This is a movie that I heard a lot about and was really interested in watching. And it's a film that stars uh, Haley Bennett and it's called Swallow. And this was a great movie and this is basically though about Haley Bennett's character who you know, she's been married to her husband and you know she, the husband is kind of like controlling he's a very controlling kind of guy it's, he's like kind of like you know what he says goes and he's kind of like telling her what to do and she's kind of like not allowed to like do her own things and it's a very very controlling relationship and basically though she ends up you know becoming pregnant and you know when she becomes pregnant she starts like developing this thing very early on in the pregnancy where she starts to see certain things and want to swallow them so she starts like starts out with swallowing like attack and then it moves into more and more things and, it, and this is like starting as like a result of like a stress type thing with her and it kind of is what it goes on but it has a whole lot more to this and about her life and her you know relationship with her, her, with her husband and then the husband's like controlling family that kind of doesn't care what she's doing and they're all like only putting any thought in the baby and not really her and it's it's a really you know the you know the future baby it's a really really well made movie and like I said, it's it's dealing with this this act of her you know swallowing these things and kind of keeping this thing a secret and what comes comes from her doing this, uh, you know. But you know, it has so much more though to this. But really, really uh, well made movie. This is one I would highly, highly recommend you guys check out. And if any of you guys have seen it too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. On here though, uh, the only feature on here is a uh, theatrical trailer on this one, but a really, really good movie. Uh, the next ones here are all from Paramount, and this one here is from the Paramount Presents line. This is the brand new release here of Airplane. This, Like I said, this is from the Paramount Presents line. And I love the way these ones are laid out because like they open up like this and inside they have like the original uh, poster artwork for the movie. And then, you know, they're in the slip cover and then inside it's in the, the clear case. And inside too it has like quotes from the movie or like review quotes. Is this one a movie quote? Oh no, the, this is a, a quote, you know, from uh, Jerry Zucker, you know, who's the co-director of the film on this one. But I really love, like I said, love the way these ones are laid out and this one though new feature wise though it has a filmmaker focus with uh, you know writer directors Jim Abrams uh, David uh, Zucker and Jerry Zucker you know talking about airplane also has on here a Q&A with the directors from the Egyptian theater in Hollywood and from you know um, January 10th uh, 2020 so the new uh, you know newer screening that they had and also has an isolated score uh, which is a new feature on here as well to have the isolated score and also has a archival commentary on here with the director Directors as well as the producer on this one but this is a really fun uh, parody film and this is one of those movies too like I feel like if this movie didn't exist there would never have been like scary movie there would never I don't even know because like when I think of like parodies this is like the ultimate one about like you know on the airplane, uh, the food, uh, people, you know, got food poisoning and like the whole, um, the pilots got food poisoning. And then the one guy who was, you know, he has to come, you know, that has, you know, as a fighter pilot, you know, he has to kind of come on. He doesn't really know how, what he's doing. And it's kind of him trying to, you know, land this plane with all sorts of problems that are going on this airplane, like every type of sight gag. Cause that's the one thing too, with the, you know, the movies, you know, that the, um, the Zuckers, you know, directed, you know, with Jim Abrams you know they always were all about like you know crazy sight gags and crazy over the top and like just like crazy ridiculous stuff but this is a really really fun movie if you guys have never seen this movie uh, definitely worth checking out and definitely worth picking up the brand new you know Paramount Presents edition uh, of the film here and the next one here is from Paramount as well. And this is uh, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan Season 2 here on Blu-ray. This is a really good show. It's basically, though, based on the character of, you know, uh, Jack Ryan, you know, who was in, you know, the, the Tom Clancy's uh, book series, which was, you know, made into a number of different films with a number of different actors throughout the years. And, you know, it's basically, though, um, the character of Jack Ryan, you know, he is in the CIA. And this is kind of a younger, you know, version of, uh, ja you know, Jack Ryan. And it's like, you know, it's played by John uh, Krasinski. 
Krasinski. And it's basically, though, you know, he's in the CIA and he's sent on different types of missions and, and these kind of things. And it's kind of what he goes through on, on the missions. And one of those things, too, what he doesn't know who he can trust and all these type of things. And this is him going in this one to Venezuela because of something that was like the shipment was there that he sent to, to, you know, to investigate. And it's kind of him there working on this investigation and everything like that. But it is a really, really good show. It's one of those things, too, if you guys have never seen, you know, um, you know any of the other films or anything like that, you don't have to see that this, this is its own thing. But a really good uh, series here. And on here, though, feature-wise, this has uh, deleted scenes for the features on this one. Uh, the next one here, this is a really cool, this is from Paramount as well, and this is also a Nickelodeon release. And this is the limited edition uh, series event, uh, which also includes three fan-favorite episodes from the classic series. And this is Are You Afraid of the Dark? And this is the brand new, like I said, this was the limited series event that was, I think it's like two hours a little, little over two hours, like two hours and ten minutes long, and it's basically just a long, uh, you know, a movie version of Afraid of the Dark. And they did the same thing with the movie version of Afraid of the Dark, with the final. I was, I believe it might have been the final season that was, you know, uh, you know, years and years back. I remember they did a longer one with like um, some kind of a locket or something in that episode. I can't remember it, or in that movie. Um, but, but so this is like the second time they've done, you know, a long movie version of Afraid of the Dark, and it's shows in here too. It says coming soon. Afraid of the Dark Season 2, so I guess it's going to be either, um, you know, like, um, you know, uh, anthology episodes where it's like 25 minute long episodes or it's going to be another uh, limited event. That I don't know for sure if it's going to be like uh, actual episodes, like, you know, th 20, 30 minute episodes or it's going to be a, a movie like this one was. But this was actually a really cool movie. It was all set to at a carnival. And what was cool about, and, and the one kid in here too is the kid who is in, um, you know, it. He's in the sh uh, in the film. Is one of the stars of the film. But it's it has like vibes though of um, one of the episodes they included on here because uh, like I said, it includes three uh, you know archival episodes of Afraid of the Dark, and it has a tale of laughing in the dark, which was all set at a uh, carnival as well. It was basically about a kid though who had to steal this one um, clown's nose, and then the clown comes after him. It also has uh, the tale of the ghastly grinner, and that was a kid who was like a fan of comic books, and he drew comic books, and he ends up. Um, getting this one from a comic shop and unleashing this, um, you know, the ghastly grinner who's coming after everybody. And then the um, the tale of Dead Man's Float was like this kid that drowned in a pool and then they the, the pool was haunted and stuff like that. Uh, they were great episodes that, that they included on here. And I thought that was really cool that they included that so kids that were watching this now can go and watch, you know, the old episodes. And, you know, uh, I hopefully, too, from, from this coming out and everything, I think it'd be great if they did like a full box set of the, um, the original series like and had like like new features and like interviews. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool to me to see like that kind of stuff. And I, I don't know. I always like to do that's bringing more attention to Afraid of the Dark because I, I I grew up watching Afraid of the Dark because the original the first season started in like '92. So and I remember too the very first episode, which was the Monkey Paul one. That I think it was when that aired too. I feel like the show wasn't even going to be a series yet. It was just like a special or something like that. I don't know if I, I was wrong about that, but I always feel like I remember on Halloween one night they played the Monkey Paul episode when I was a little kid, and they were seeing that and then later it became a series but I might be totally wrong about that and remembering it wrong but I, I, all I remember is that was the first one I remember seeing though and I always felt like too when I was watching I was like I felt like that was like one of the early horror kind of things I remember watching now the next ones here are all from Paramount as well and these are also all CBS um, you know uh, releases uh, CBS Paramount this is, you know, um, three, uh, four different, uh, you know, series here, and I'll show you guys which ones they are. And this one here is the complete final season of Hawaii Five O, which I didn't know that the show had ended. And I watched a number of different ones throughout the years of this one. A lot of times, too, when I was at the gym, I was watching this. I remember one episode that had like Paulie Shore in it, and I, was, I, I like I said, I had like this show has had a lot of different guest stars and stuff in it, but I didn't know that it had ended. And it's basically though all about like you know the cops and stuff like that, you know, you know, in, in Hawaii and that kind of cases and it also has like um deals with like their own you know their home life and then like people who are on the island as well like the one guy who works with like the food truck and stuff like that i don't know it's a I, I thought this is a fun show i've like i said i've watched this throughout the years a number of different episodes this has on here though a bunch of different featurettes it also has desperate measures which was a magnum pi a crossover episode and it has on here a gag reel deleted and extended scenes on select episodes uh you know reflections on hawaii 5 an interview on here with Al alex o Lo logan as well as a uh, featurette on here about, you know, Shoreline's Aloha. Uh, the other ones, uh, 
uh, from Paramount as well. These are all what, from the C, uh, you know the NCIS series because with the NCIS series, there's a number of different you know renditions of it, and there there is uh, like I said three different ones here. This one is uh, NCIS: The Complete 17th Season. This is the original NCIS series. I don't know when this one first started, but it's like I said, this has gone on now for 17 seasons. This one has on here though uh, some featurettes on the show inside uh, season 17. Uh, Return of, da of Z Ziva David on here. Featurettes on here. So it's 20, 35 minutes of you know special features included inside Loki. Like I said, with the um, the, the Return of Ziva uh, David on here. And the other one here is this is NCIS season 11 of um, NCIS Los Angeles. This one has you know. Um, you know, uh, stars Chris O'Donnell and LL Cool J. And this one has on here, though, uh, Mother, the tw uh, 250th episode featurette, Season 11 and Evolution, uh, deleted and extended scenes on this one. And the last one here was um, NCIS New Orleans, and this was the complete sixth season. This one has, as well, over 30 minutes of special features. This one's special features has Six of One featurette and the Demise of Christopher uh, Lachelle uh, featurette on this one. But like I said, one of you guys know that these ones were available. I'll show you guys, too, a look inside at these ones. Here's a look at the discs, and they also have like an episode guide on the side, which says the episodes that are in, you know, the set. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside at the other ones as well, too. Here's a look, though, inside at the NCIS Complete 17th season here. This has the episode guides uh, as well. And here's a look, though, at NCIS um, Los Angeles. I'll show, too, the Hawaii 5 one. Here's a look, though, inside the NCIS Los Angeles. That has the episode guide as well on the side. And here's a look, too, at the um, uh, Hawaii 5 one as well. Here's a look, though, inside at the Hawaii 5 set. Like I said, though, one of you guys know that these ones were all available uh, from Paramount. Now, the next one here is from uh, the Warner Archive, and they sent over a free copy of this one. Let you guys know that this one is available. This is from Warner Brothers, and this is the complete uh, first and second season of the show Final Space here. This is a fun show. This um, was something that a show that airs on uh, TBS. I, I believe that because it says Adult Swim, but it says on the back TBS, so I believe it aired on, on TBS. I might be totally wrong about that, but I or maybe it aired on TBS and uh, Cartoon Network as well. I don't know for sure. I know Conan O'Brien, though, was one of the producers of this show. But this is basically about a guy who was, like, kind of uh, arrested in this, like, kind of abandoned kind of prison in the beginning of the, of, the, of the film, like a space prison. And he ends up meeting this one character there that he kind of becomes friends with. But the character is kind of, like, ha haunt hunted, and they're trying to come after him and catch him. So it's kind of him, right after he got out of prison, kind of having, like, people coming after him. He's trying to protect this creature. It's a really, really fun show here. I actually thought this is a very fun show. Like I never saw any of this one when this was airing. Like I said, this one has, you know, final space to complete first and second season here uh, on Blu-ray. And the next one I got here is also from Warner Brothers as well. And they also sent over a free copy of this one to let you guys know that this one is available. This is a really, really cool collection here. Available for the first time ever on Blu-ray. And this is Wonder Woman, the complete collection here. Like I said, available for the first time on Blu-ray. And what this set has is, is all the episodes of the Wonder Woman um, you know, TV series. It was from the, you know, the mid to late 70s, which ran for three seasons. So it has all 59 episodes of the show, as well as the uh, pilot movie. And it's over uh, 10 discs. Is you know this is a ten disc uh, set, but this also has on here a bunch of different uh, bonus features. It has a uh, commentary track by Linda Carter, you know who plays Wonder Woman, and, and as well as the producer of the show, and that is on the pilot movie. So the pilot movie has a commentary track, as well as um, the first episode of season three has that one has a commentary track by just uh, Linda Carter. So that one, so it's two episodes on this one, the pilot movie, and then the first episode of season three include a commentary track. Also has on here three featurettes. Uh, one of them is Beauty, Brawn, and Bulletproof bra uh, Bracelets, a Wonder Woman retrospective. The other one is Revolutionizing a Classic from Comic Book to Television, as well as Wonder Woman, the Ultimate Feminist Icon. But this is a really, really fun show. I saw some of this show, too, as a kid growing up, because I used, used to watch, like, uh, Batman, the Batman uh, TV series all the time, so I watched a couple episodes of this back in the day, but I had not seen that many, so really cool to get to watch through a whole bunch of these ones, and picture quality-wise, too, uh, the transfers on these all look great. They, you know, Warner Brothers did a great job I clean these ones up for Blu-ray, so definitely, definitely worth the upgrade if you guys have these ones on DVD. Definitely worth upgrading these uh, for Blu-ray. But if you guys don't know the, the character of Wonder Woman, it's basically she lived, you know, on a on a um, island, a kind of a hidden island, uh, and you know, in the middle of nowhere, where it was a whole island of all women. 
and she basically has her lasso and she has like these abilities and things like that and this is during World War II era a plane crashes down in there and they end up rescuing the guy that crashes down and she ends up having to get him back to where he came from and then when she gets there she ends up having people coming after her and all sorts of problems and she's kind of saving the day and the second and third seasons go into the 70s so they have a real 70s kind of vibe uh, this is a, like I said a really really fun show uh, definitely worth uh, you know uh, you know upgrading for a blu-ray and if you guys have never seen the show it's definitely worth Worth watching this the first time ever on Blu-ray because, like I said, they look great. And in here, though, it has a um, you know an episode list in here, a booklet which is an episode list. Like I said, the show ran for um, three different seasons here, and it is a ten uh, disc set. But like I said, really really cool uh, collection here. All the episodes look great on Blu-ray here. And like I said, this is a uh, Wonder Woman, the complete collection here on Blu-ray uh, from uh, Warner Brothers. And the next one I got here is from Wellgo USA. And this is a really, really well-made film here uh, called A Dog's Courage. And this is, like, amazing animation. Like, it's like it's the kind of animation, too, like, that has, like, it, it almost has, like, the vibes of, like, um, of, like, the look of, like, a painting, kind of, like, an animated painting and stuff. Like, just, like, the way that the, um, the, the backgrounds look and everything. I don't know. It's just really, really well animated. And this is kind of has a vibe of, like, um... Like a sort of the feel of like Homeward Bound and like Milo and Otis and, and those kind of ones and like um you know all, all those kind of films that that kind of vibe and it, because it's basically though about this dog that's abandoned and it's trying to figure out you know kind of where to go and where to live and everything and he comes across these other dogs that are kind of living out in the streets that are abandoned and it's kind of like them kind of going around you know the pack of dogs and like the pack of dogs doesn't really want him around at first and then he kind of you know they own up to him and it's kind of them you know going on a journey of trying to find exactly where is the, a good place to go and a good place to live and they're kind of looking around and, and that's essentially what it is it's just like uh you know the kind of problems that come along on, along the way but you know um a really, really well-made uh, family film here. And this one has on here, though, it has um, the English language track as well as the original Korean language audio track as well on this one. Like I said, this one here is called A Dog's Courage, and this is from Welga USA. And the next two here are ones I'm really excited about. These are some really cool uh, releases here from a brand new company called Cauldron Films. And their website is cauldron-films.com. And I have a link below as well for their website where you guys can go to find out more about them and to order them and all that kind of stuff as well. But this is the first of their releases here from their brand, like I said, their brand new line, uh, Cauldron Films. And these are their first uh, releases. And it's, the first one is American Rickshaw. And the other one is Abracadabra. And I'm going to talk to you guys about these ones. But these are both in these really cool hardbound uh, slip cases but this one here is one of those movies like I said this is called American Rickshaw this is one of those movies that you find like that I, after I watched this I found myself like thinking about it and like and like kind of like you think I don't know there's certain movies like that where you really think about them a lot after they're over and they're because they're really memorable and they kind of have like weird memorable kind of stuff that happens in them and like this was one of those ones it was kind of like when I first watched Blood Rage I kept on thinking about that and like that I'm Todd I'm Todd and all that kind of stuff this was kind of like that this also had really memorable music too like I really love like the theme song to this movie like the theme that you heard throughout the movie but like it was one of those things too that had like some really wacky sort of strangenesses to it and like even it even goes in like really strange directions about like halfway through the movie just like the way it, it kind of has this one feel in the beginning and it kind of goes in all these wacky kind of things and the one guy, too, I kept on thinking, what was the guy from? And I kept on recognizing the guy who was coming after them. Because the movie's basically, though, um, you know, I kept on wondering who this guy was. And I looked him up, and he was like, oh, he was, like, in a ton of the Farley Brothers movies. But it's basically, though, about, like, um, this guy who's a rickshaw, who basically, and it's not like the kind of rickshaws that they have now, where someone's, like, on a bike and, like, drives you around. It's like a rickshaw where they, like, pull you. Like, where they kind of, like, the guy kind of carry. you have to have a really, in, in amazing strength to do this and they like pull you down the street kind of like you know um uh, like, so, i don't know sort of like out of like gladiator or something this thing that he's like they're all and it was, i don't think they do that anymore like that and, and this is you know all set in miami and also in um where was the area because the, the area that i have been to to you know coconut grove 
because yeah, I actually stayed in Coconut Grove area when I was shooting a, a Jersey Shore Massacre, so I kind of like recognize this one area a little bit. But it's but it's kind of like these things that they're dragging them with. I've never really seen them, and I don't know if those exist anymore. These kind of rickshaws or not. But basically, though, in this movie, it's about like um, this guy who's a rickshaw driver, and he drives this one woman in the beginning of the movie, and like and, and, and there's not like a huge importance to this scene when he does this, but then like she sends him this amulet later, and he like has this letter saying, "Oh, I." I She's saying, I, it took a lot of work for me to track you down, and I found you, and you need this thing. And he accidentally drops the letter before he reads it, and it falls into the garbage. So he just puts this amulet in his drawer. And then, like, he's, like, driving the rickshaw, and he meets this one woman, and he ends up, like, um, you know, taking her back to her houseboat, and she seduces him, and he kind of goes in, and then, like, there's this guy filming, and, they, like, hiding in the room, and then they get into this big fight. And basically what happens, though, is, the guy who was filming and sneaking and all this kind of stuff, he's like, someone came after him to try and kill him, and then, like, this guy got, like, kind of tied into the whole thing, the rickshaw driver, and then, like, the guy is coming after him, and, like, that guy who's coming after him is the guy I was saying, I kept on wondering what he was from, and he was in a lot of the Farley Brothers films. But that's basically what this is, is this, this whole thing, and it has all these weird sequences of uh, the woman who gave the amulet, like, Anytime something bad's about to happen, this guy that she's trying to help, you know, you see like her, this snake and these weird types of. And like I said it's a movie that's really hard to explain, but an amazing movie. A uh, transfer wise too, this looks great. This has a 2K restoration on here. Uh, interviews on here with the director and production designer. Commentary track on here with uh, Sam Daheen and uh, Kat Ellinger. The Projection Booth podcast discusses American Rickshaw. Uh, has a then and now location featurette, uh, and as well as an image gallery on this one. Like I said too, they're in these um, great you know uh, slip covers, and in here too. Here's a look though inside. It has you know um, a reversible artwork as well. So I'll show you guys a look at the reversible artwork for this one. Here's a look though at the alternate artwork for this one. And see here's the rickshaw. You see, like I said, see he kind of has to drag it like that. And in here though there's a booklet with stuff about the production. Like I said, here's the snake that you see a lot in this movie. And you know this also stars Donald Pleasance. But this is a great, like I said, a really strange but like must watch movie. Like I said, I, I cannot wait for the to hear about the future releases that the you know that um, Cauldron Films puts out. So I'm really happy to get to review their stuff. And this one here is one called Abracadabra. And this is a this is a new film from 2018, but it's done. It's a Jalo film. Like I said, it's called Abracadabra, and it has the um, it's very authentic, and it really feels like a lost Giallo film from the 70s. Like it had, like with the the way that the the image was tinted with the colors, everything. It has that total like Technicolor 70s kind of look, and the way they age stuff up, and the way it's edited, and the the, the lighting and the music. It also includes in here too, which is cool. It has um, these lobby cards, which all, but also has a soundtrack CD for the movie. Because like I was saying, it has really cool uh, like you know real 70s. 70s kind of synth music and stuff like that you know in this one but it's basically though dealing with this magician who you know um people are dying around this magician and like the police are kind of coming to, towards him and looking as if he has something to do with it but it is like it's a like i said it's a very very authentic uh giallo film just like it just seems like i said so much like a lost movie on here though feature wise this has behind the scenes it has a trailer it also has the Italian language version, as well as an English language version of the film. It uh, has a CD soundtrack on here, and that has English and Spanish subtitle options on this one. But some really cool releases from Cauldron Films. Like I said, cannot wait to hear what their future releases are. The next one here is from, um, I'll have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price, but these, this one is from MovieZing.com. Uh, this is also from uh, Midnight Releasing. This is a movie here called Agram's Gate. Uh, Agor, Agorlam's Gate. I don't know if I'm saying that right or, or not. This one has in here like Lorraine Landon, uh, Jan Birch, you know, who was in um, uh, People Under the Stairs in this film. And this is basically, though, about a group of these like um, friends that are all at this party. And they're all kind of like, um, they have this woman who comes there who can like communicate with spirits and stuff like that. And of course, though, they go there for this party and they're like kind of doing this, like communicate with the spirits. And of course, by doing this, they end up like unlocking the spirit and it kind of like weird sort of things start to happen to them <coughs> sorry it's kind of it's kind of like you know weird sort of things 
start to happen to them. And then it's basically, though, about them, you know, trying to figure out exactly how to stop this and, when, when, you know, exactly what was unleashed when the woman there who, you know, was the medium that could communicate with these spirits and stuff like that, what exactly did she open up and, like, let into their lives and stuff like that. So it's basically them going through this whole nightmare of a situation trying to figure out exactly how to stop this. This was actually a pretty cool uh, movie here. Like I said, this is Agaramon's Gate. Uh, the next ones here are all from um, Mill Creek. This is one that I'm really excited about. This is a great uh, new collection here. And this is the complete series here on Blu-ray for the first time. The 12 Monkeys, the complete series collection here on Blu-ray. And, and, and Mill Creek, too, is putting out such great, you know, TV series sets lately. You know, I, I love all their releases, but I always love with it when they do complete series. Like, I'm one of those kind of people that always loves complete series collections. Like, for some reason, like, I love having, like, the whole series together. Like, to me, I always love these, and I always love, you know, when I hear what their announcements are for the future ones. I, I know they're pr putting out uh, Eureka. I believe it's next month, which I've never seen that show, so I definitely look forward to seeing that one. And 12 Monkeys, though, this is based on the film 12 Monkeys, which is like an amazing movie. Like, I've, I've watched that movie so many times, you know, serves Bruce Willis. And it's kind of like a... Um, when I think of like the best like futuristic, it's like one of the top like futuristic kind of like movies like that and like Blade Runner. And it, but it's basically though about you know like I said this is the um, uh, you know TV version of that you know but expanded upon in, into all the seasons of the show. So it goes into the whole universe so much more and you find out so much more about it. But it's basically though about a guy who's sent you know from 2043 to the present day present day and he's basically there to try and stop because there's like a bad type of a virus that's coming and like something that happens and he has to try and go and it's, they, they say too it's going to be unleashed by the 12 monkeys because there's all these like images of the 12 monkeys kind of spray painted around so they have to kind of go to try he's kind of goes there to try and stop this but it's kind of like you know when he gets there there's all sorts of problems that he comes into and like you know all, all kinds of I don't want to ruin anything in this one but like I said it is a great series here on here though and I'll show you guys a look inside too but on here feature wise it has deleted scenes cast auditions a uh, webisodes podcast Cast, as well as a gag reel on this one and here's a look though inside here at the uh, disc so it's here uh, each season is uh, two discs I believe so it's season one disc one disc two season two disc one disc two season three disc one uh, and then this was uh, season uh, three disc four you know disc two uh, season th uh, four disc one and then season uh, you know four disc two so you know the show ran for um, uh, four seasons but really glad to have this whole series together here on Blu-ray and a really, really great show though. And the next one's here from Mill Creek as well, ones I want you guys know are available. And from what I've heard, these are the last films to, to be released from the series of the Andy Sedaris uh, films. And this one here is uh, two different ones here. And let me just cover one thing just so no one says anything. But this here has um, Return to Savage Beach as well as uh, Day of the Warrior. Like I said, these are both Andy Sedaris films. And both of these ones though have introductions by Andy Sedaris, uh, audio commentaries, behind the scenes featurette as and well as trailers on these ones but these are really really fun uh, action movies with all sorts of like um kind of proms and stuff like that and like wacky characters and stuff like that these are really really fun movies and like a really fun series like I said they've released a whole bunch of Andy Sedaris films over the last year or so and I, from what I've heard these are the last ones of the series and the last one from Mill Creek this one to let you guys know is available as well this is a honor and remember uh, stories of Vietnam this is a six documentary collection here and this has like I said six different documentaries on this one and it's a uh, two disc uh, set here and so each um, disc has three of the documentaries on them and it also includes too a digital copy from um, Mill Creek streaming service uh, movie spree so that's included as well with this one and the next one I got here is from Artsploitation Films. And this is one I give a top recommendation to. This is an absolute must watch. I love this movie. And it's called uh, Dead Dicks. And this is basically, though, about this guy who's really depressed. He's not in a great way. And he's calling his sister. He keeps on calling her and calling her and calling her. And she's busy and can't check right away. So then she keeps getting these calls. And she's like, okay, I better do something. I better call him back. So she finally calls him back. He's not picking up the phone. And then, you know, she ends up going to his apartment. And she founds out that, you know, he has committed suicide and he was and he's gone he has died but basically though the second she sees his body there out of the shower he comes out there's another him and it's basically though something is going on in this house and for some reason if he goes and kills himself in this house he just comes back to life and he comes out of um the wall and he comes back again and it's basically though that's what this is and it's like and it's like um 
it has kind of like an eating Raul kind of vibe too because like when the first body is there they're like well what are we gonna do how are we gonna get rid of this and it be and then it becomes this whole big thing but this is a really interesting movie too like the whole vibe of this movie and what happens and like and it's also extremely original like I've never seen anything like else like this and the whole coming out of the wall and like what does all this mean and everything this movie was great like I said this is an absolute must watch this one has on here though feature wise a director commentary track on here it has four video diaries which is basically like the directors talking about uh, getting ready to shoot and like throughout the shooting and that kind of stuff it also has an F a special effects featurette on here and has trailers for a few uh, you know other um, art exploitation films and one thing too that they're re releasing soon I can't wait for is the Jeremy Caston film the dead ones and that was a movie that was filmed I think it was in 2009 they sh shot it in Baltimore and I actually went to like visit the set of that when they were filming so like I was there and it's finally coming out now because my dad's friend you know worked on the film doing like production design and producing it so I was like you know I got to see visit the set so I'm glad it's finally coming out I can't wait to finally watch it and uh, the next ones here these ones are all from uh, MVD this is a movie here called uh, trauma therapy and this is basically though about a group of people who all go to this um, self-help kind of seminar thing it's kind of one of those ones where you like like a retreat kind of seminar where you would go there and stay at this place and he's like a guy who's like a real famous self-help kind of guy and but it's one of those things though where there's like weird sort of like treatments that they're doing they're doing these weird kind of techniques and it's one of those things where things start off weird and they just keep getting continuously weirder and weirder and worse and worse as it goes along and there's something really bad going on at this um, you know self-help place but this is a really interesting one here like I said called trauma therapy and these ones here are ones I just want you guys to know are available. These are all from the MVD uh, marquee line. And one thing too I wanted to make sure to mention with MVD as well, if you guys didn't know, uh, next month they're going to be releasing, uh, you know, the movie Mikey on Blu-ray. It's one of those movies I've talked about a lot, you know, throughout the years. Like I'm, you know, always hoping it would come out. And they're going to be, in, in case you guys didn't know, because I don't think I talked about it, they are going to be releasing Mikey on Blu-ray uh, in August. So I cannot wait for that. Like I said, these ones are all from the MVD uh, marquee line. And the first one here is a movie directed by Takashi. Mikey film, and this is uh, Sh 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 Shaikana, Shaika, Western Django here, and this one has uh, Quentin Tarantino in the film. This was from 2006, I believe, was when this movie was made. Was it, was it 2006 or 2007? No, no 2007. And this one has on here, though, uh, feature-wise, this has the extended cut of the film. It also has a making of featurette, uh, deleted scenes, a sizzle reel, promotional clips, U.S. and Japanese theatrical trailers, as well as the um, this has also has reversible artwork in this one. So I'll show you guys though. Did I reverse the artwork already? Oh yeah, I did. I already said it to the reverse artwork. This is the reversible artwork on this one here. Uh, the other one is the Sarah Michelle Gellar movie, which I remember liking this one when this came out. There's a movie here called uh, Pos uh, Possession here with Sarah Michelle Gellar. And this one has on here featurette, feature-wise, it has a making of featurette, a uh, deleted and alternate scenes, theatrical trailer, and this has uh, reversible artwork as well. This is the cover uh, for it that I always remember, um, you know, uh, this this particular image for this one. But like I said, this I remember this one being a pretty good movie. The other one here is a movie with stores Orlando um, Bloom, as well as um, Anthony Mackie, Bill Paxson, Zoe Sandella, and this is uh, Zoe Sandana, and this is uh, called, a movie called Haven here. And this one has on here a making a featurette as well as a uh, theatrical trailer on uh, this one. And the last one, the last two ones here from um, MVD's uh, marquee collection line is uh, one here called uh, Even Money. This has a great cast. This has uh, uh, Kim Basinger, uh, Nick Cannon, Danny DeVito, Kelsey Grammer, Ray Liotta, uh, Jay Moore, Tim Roth, and Forrest Whitaker here. And this one has uh, original theatrical trailer uh, feature-wise on uh, this one. And this is a movie here which stars Guy Pearce and, as well as uh, J.K. Simmons called First Snow. This is another one. I remember seeing this one uh, you know, in 2006 when this first came out. I remember seeing this one in theaters. I believe it was in theaters, but I know I saw this one when this first released. This one has on here, though, a because uh, I always am a fan, though, of Guy Pierce. Like for uh, ever, ever since um, I think the first thing I remember seeing him in was Ravenous. So I've always been a fan of Guy Pierce. And one of my favorite ones of his to watch too is The Time Machine. That's why I always like keep hoping one day will come to Blu-ray. I love that movie. This has on here, though, um, behind the scenes featurette, uh, interview on here with J.K. Simmons, interviews with Guy Pierce, as well as a theatrical trailer. This one, though, this has a uh, reversible artwork as well. So I'll show you guys a look at the reversible reversible artwork for uh, this one here. Here's a look though at the reversible artwork for this one here. 
The next one here, this is from uh, MVD as well. This is also from Cleopatra Entertainment. And this is a movie which stars uh, Udo Kier. And this is a skinwalker. This one has a real, like, old school kind of gothic horror vibe. It has, like, a real, like, um, kind of a hammer horror ash kind of feel to this one. And this is basically, though, about a woman that, um, you know... Um, she basically goes back to the village where she was when she was younger, and she hadn't been to this village for years and years, and she only came back because her grandmother had passed away, so she was kind of going there for, like, the will and, and, the, and the funeral and all those type of things. But it's basically, though, she gets back to the house, and it's kind of like someone is, like, killing people there. It's like some sort of a... Something is basically, the second she gets back, people start getting killed there. And it has a real, like, um, like I said, a hammer horror kind of vibe mixed with, like, the John Rowland French film, French horror films, and it has like that kind of vibe to this one. I thought this was actually pretty cool, and I always love Udo Kier. Udo Kier, Udo Kier is like always amazing and everything. This one, though, feature wise, it has a theatrical trailer and an image slideshow. And the last one from MVD is one I just want to let you guys know is available. And this is a uh, uh, documentary here, Nothing Stays the Same, the story of Saxon Pub here. Like I guess I just want you guys to know that this one uh, was available from uh, MVD. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching subscribing and I'll see you guys later.